Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous êtes toutes et tous bien et qu'on peut le voir. On se retrouve pour un nouveau épisode sur The Dwarf avec notre ami Turndil et on est dans la forteresse des premiers. Et on va se balader dans la forteresse, je crois qu'il y a des choses à faire. Alors, j'aimerais bien que tu tournes, merci. Oui, non, pas la caméra, s'il te plaît. Voilà, merci. Ah, euh. Alors, on va parler à Balindis déjà. Salut ma belle. Hello. Euh, apparemment de nombreuses naines. Euh, Qu'est-ce que cela fait de vivre avec les premiers Il semble que beaucoup de positions importantes sont occupées par les femmes dwarves dans le premier royaume. Est-ce que ce n'est pas commun, d'où vous venez, que les hommes et les femmes partagent les devoirs Non. Bien sûr. Parmi les humains et les secondes lignes, les femmes aident à la maison pour que les hommes aient le temps pour leurs devoirs. C'est très patriarcal. C'est important Qu'est-ce que cela fait de vivre avec les premiers I can't make any real comparisons either. I grew up here and have never left our kingdom. I can hardly wait to see the halls of the fiddlings. They were the best smiths before we took on the mantle. Don't expect too much. Their halls have been in the hands of the enemy for over a thousand cycles. I read that the orcs avoid the stronghold, as if there were a curse on it. Even reading doesn't seem to be frowned upon among the firstlings. You feel at home here. But that isn't only Liste des livres See you later. Ok, salut ma belle. On se revoit plus tard. Ah ils ont, ils, ont, ils ont des champignons dans des pots. C'est original. Attendez. C'est un peu chiant la caméra là. Ça c'est un garde. Alors on peut monter vers la salle du trône, regarder le fond du gouffre. Ah. Alors attendez. Mon dieu, c'est l'air profond. The second dwarf stronghold you have ever seen also impresses you greatly. The firstling stronghold is very different to Ogre's death, but you'd rather not say which you prefer. Non, au final on voit pas on voit pas le gouffre, je vois la profondeur. Ouais. Oh, c'est magnifique euh, l'eau qui s'arrête dans le vide. Oh, c'est la magie ça. C'est quoi ça Parler à, G... à Giralda ah, Plutôt aller parler à Andokai. Ah, Tungdil, I was wondering when you would pay me a visit. I thank you and Jeroen, you appeared at the right moment. May I um, ask why It was down to you. Your speech about the responsibility I owe to my realm. Lot Yonam was a good teacher. Her face darkens when she thinks of her old companion. There are a hundred reasons that Nodon deserves to die. That is why I went back to the Secondlings and took another look through the books. I discovered a passage that said Kingfire can only take its effect against evil when it is wielded by a foe of the Undergrounders. Estonia. A foe of the Undergrounders. It's going to be difficult to persuade Norp to help us. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. But I think I might have an answer to the problem. The Alpha are also your foes, aren't they? What the... Half human. Hmm. Half elf. My mother bequeathed me her gifts and her weapons. I got very little from my father. But his eyes are an advantage. Je vous suggère de ne rien dire à Giralda à ce sujet. Êtes-vous sûr d'avoir bien compris la partie qui parle de l'ennemi d'Estonien, Andokai Bon d'accord, c'est toi qui porteras la lame de feu. Euh, c'est un... Gérald. And you're sure that only a foe of the undergrounders can use Kingfire Anyone can use it like a normal axe, but only a foe of the undergrounders can command its magical powers. I don't know much about her, but a half-elf should pass as a foe of all dwarves. Hmm. Je suis sûr de rien dire à Giralda à ce sujet. 
We should keep your parentage secret, especially from Geralda. I'm in no doubt that the Alpha did terrible things to her. Ah, c'est pas la naine Geralda, mais c'est je l'ai oublié celle-là. If what Nomura told me earlier is true, this Geralda could be just as great a danger as Nodon. She could take control of generals or kings, maybe even me. You are aware of the danger, but you don't have the energy to think about it right now. You push the problem aside. Then that's agreed. We will keep Nomura secret to ourselves. Alright then. You will wield Keenfire in the battle against Nodon. But we're going to have to make it first. You said it. The actress takes her leave with a little nod. Euh, comment va Jeron et vos pouvoirs magiques Vous avez l'air épuisé. Comment la comment Lab a-t-il pu détruire la barrière magique Je dois partir. Comment va Jeron Comment va Jeron Could you help him He's doing well. He should be back to full strength after some rest. You still don't know what kind of being is hidden under the armor. But the Mega's power seemed to have done a good job. Moi je sais, moi je sais. To improve his armor. And when one of the best smiths in Girdlegard offers something like that, you should definitely take them up on it. Hmm. Et vos pouvoirs magiques, vous avez l'air épuisé. You and your powers. You look a little exhausted. I won't lie to you. It has already been too long since I was in a place where I can draw new strength. My power is trickling away like water from a leaky pipe. Is that perhaps a way to weaken Nodon? No, I wouldn't count on that. Even if we could keep him away from the magical realms, the being that lives within him has given him unknown powers. Hmm. How Leib a pu des choses? How was able to overcome your shield? Can Alfar use magic? No, certainly not. I don't know much about their people, but I think they have innate powers: conjuring darkness, extinguishing fire, changing dreams. Little things that fill humans with fear and ensure the potency of terrifying legends about their people. Syntharast used a trick, not a spell. We killed two Alphar near Sovereignston. They had crystals on them which they had received from Nod On to protect them from the spells of the Magi. He must have used a stone like that. Take some rest. Hmm. And I hope you'll still be here at dawn. The Mega gives you a reproachful look. Don't worry. We'll stand by you until this expedition has reached its destination. It feels good having the Mega and her companion at your side again. Okay. 50 XP remporté. Alors on peut pas aller là-bas, il y a des gardes. Salut Mon dieu, des nains J'adore les cités nains. Tellement que dans Skyrim, <rire> je passais mon temps dans les cités euh, de Hammer. Ah, non, caméra s'il te plaît, me fais pas la misère, c'est quoi ça Un arme Namora, d'accord, là on a quoi Un Rodario et Furgas. Entrer dans l'infirmerie, ouais c'est là où sont les frères. On va déjà aller parler à la Miss Tinguette. Geralda looks depressed. You look like something's bothering you. Pourquoi Qu'est-ce qui se passe Attends, on dirait un fantôme, le truc. Avoid me. Et blanche comme un cul. You're the only one who talks to me. Yeah, well, you did try to kill us when we first met you. Geralda gives a wry smile. Not exactly the best of first impressions, right You're not a bad person, Geralda. Just give them some time. Que sais-tu du peuple libre to join the free folk. What do you know about them? To be honest, I don't know very much at all. It is said they are like a kingdom, just without a kingdom. No clans, no obligations and traditions, no repressive expectations. Just dwarfs living together. And where do I find them? Well, everywhere. Je crois que c'est le sixième clan. They hide. I think I almost found one of their cities. En fait, ce sont. Euh... I don't know anymore. See you later. En fait, ce sont des nains avec les guerres qu'il y a eu ces derniers millénaires. Bon, donc il y a eu des survivants de la forteresse des premiers et des autres forteresses, et même des nains qui vivaient dans le pays sûr parmi les humains. Et donc, maintenant qu'ils sont pour chasser aussi les nains dans le pays sûr, parce que 
on, on leur attribue tout ce qui se passe. Euh, ben, en fait, ils se sont regroupés, ils ont formé un nouveau clan. Et ils se cachent de, de, de tous les autres clans nains et de enfin, tout le monde en particulier. Et ils vivent sous terre, mais personne ne sait où exactement. Enfin, en plus, pour la majorité, euh, ils n'existent pas en fait. Euh, C'est une légende. Mais ça, on, verra, on, on, on les verra plus tard. C'est quoi ça Attendez. Ah non, c'est derrière, c'est ça On est d'accord. Et là, tu la pousses. Ah Alors, comment tu te... Qui est arrivé à tes parents Putain, je... n'aimerais-tu pas parfois être une demi-elbe, hein Dis-moi. Qui était à tes parents Relationships between humans and Alphar is uncommon. My mother brought me up on her own. I don't know what happened to my father. You look at her Ma mère a été violée par un elbe, c'est tout. Ah d'accord. Ça se trouve c'est ça. Je ne pas lui. Tes parents se sont, se sont rencontrés comment Ma mère n'a pas eu trop le choix. Euh, on va plutôt ça. Je Rodario et Fergus. Fergus. He was delighted. He immediately wrote me into a new play. That sounds like Rodario. Hmm. Ah, je vais pas trop poser la question, mais bon. Donc on va la poser. This might be a strange question, but do you sometimes wish that I wasn't half elf? Of course I've thought about it. But what's the point? This is how I was born, how I am, and it's something I can't change. And well, perhaps it might now serve some benefit for the first time. My heritage could be the key to saving Girdlegard. See you later. Ok. Allons voir ces messieurs. Bonjour. Alors, on va parler à Rodario. It is simply legendary. No, it is mythical. We definitely need a large theater so we can convey the impression of this grandeur to the spectators. It's going to be difficult, but we'll manage it. But it will be more expensive. It would appear you like it here. <laughs> ha! Like it? It is fabulous! I almost feel like giving up. Not even the best of illusions could possibly imitate this, but say, what brings you to us, Tango? Un Cinamora est une demi-elbe. Euh, ouais, alors ça c'est... Veux-tu vraiment te rendre au pays mort avec nous Comment se déroulent les préparatifs pour, pour votre prochain piège <coughs> Je vais m'en ça. Every step on is more dangerous than the last. Are you sure you want to continue on our journey with us Of course. Every story needs an end. What kind of play would it be without a third act <coughs> There is no way I'm going to let Namora ride into battle on her own. I will be there to assist her. Why didn't you say that Namora is half elf? If our spectators knew, they would run away screaming. So I'm sure you will understand that we couldn't tell a group of armed dwarves either. You have to admit that you don't know how you would have reacted if Namora had revealed herself to Mifadania. Fear and hatred of the Alpha is deeply rooted. You already know her, Tungdil. She has skills, but her lineage does not determine how she thinks and acts. She is the love of my life, okay. and I would go crazy if I were to lose her. And how is your new play coming along? Good, very good. The band of adventurers who set off to defeat Nodon, aided by the Queen of the Dwarves from the Kingdom of the Firstlings. It's going to be a real challenge to present this story in all its greatness. Do you already have a title? 
I haven't decided for sure yet, but at the moment I'm thinking along the lines of the heroic dwarves and their loyal companions who opposed Nodon despite all the challenges to destroy him and save Girdlegard. C'est long comme titre. Rest now. Rest. Haven't you seen? There are machines that keep the whole city alive. I must take a look. D'accord, bah amuse-toi là. Alors, on va aller voir à l'infirmerie nos potes. Euh, en plus, il s'est pris, fl pris trois flèches dans le dos. Le truc qu'on traversait l'armure ar comme du beurre. Comment on va mon nom Merde. On doit partir sur lui, on se casse. Le mec, ils l'ont foutu dans la fabrique, ils ont même pas retiré son armure. Boindil forces un grin, mais tu peux imaginer ce qu'il est vraiment pensé et sentant. Ils vont partir à son avion, d'accord. Euh, on ne cas n'a-t-elle pas pu vous aider I thought Antikai was going to look after him. Didn't her magic help We don't want her help. Magic is no use. And we certainly don't want anything to do with Somerset. You know, there is no point arguing with the twins about magic. There is too much of a fine line between conviction and stubbornness. Bowendal would rather die than be healed by the Mega. Euh... We'll have to go on without him. He won't manage more than a hundred paces without dropping down dead the state he's in. No! I'll manage, Scholar. <laughs> just give me two orbits, then I'll be fine. It's, it's just a scratch. Boendal tries to stand up, but he doesn't have the strength. You shake your head. Stay here and recover, Boendal. We'll meet you again in time for the big battle against Nodon. You have done your bit. But... Where one of us is, the other is two. It is the greatest deed that has ever been carried out by our people. Oh. It would seem you are right, scholar. We'll be separated for the first time in our lives. <laughs> I will miss you by my side in battle. The first hundred runs will be for you. So you have to protect him and the others on your own now, brother. Don't take on too much and rein in your frenzy. You must control your anger better than you usually do. Promise me. I promise. Tears run down the bearded cheeks of the two twins. They have never had to part like this before. Cinématique, euh, il a pas son armure. <rire> Ça fait moins ridicule. Bon. Je me rappelle même plus quand ils partent de la forteresse. Je crois qu'ils partent en, en train. Euh, on va voir. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait maintenant Alors, On peut pas se balader en plus, ça c'est triste. Je pense qu'on va on retourne à la salle du trône. Ça, ça me rappelle euh, un jeu que je jouais euh, à l'époque, enfin, il y a un bout de temps déjà, et ça s'appelait Neverwinter Night, c'était basé sur... Euh, euh, c'était basé sur euh, le monde de euh, Donjons et Dragons. Et on se déplaçait dans les forteresses un peu de la même manière, avec cette vue-là et tout ça. Ça c'est un jeu qui m'avait... <rire> ok. Statue Ok le gars il... Un petit bug Des familles. Viens avec moi femme. Ah le gars quoi 
The female dwarf's expression darkens. Shall we engage in a trial fight, Mr. Dwarf? No, no, by Vrakus. No, I, I know that female dwarves can fight. It's because of the axe. You're the only one who can forge it. If something happens to you, <laughs> we won't be able to stop not off. The face of the smith relaxes, and then a smile appears on her lips. I can look after myself. You're mignon. Je sens une, une idée d'entre eux. Greetings, Queen Zaptis. The Queen bows her head slightly, prompting you to speak. Alors, je suis navré de vous poser la question, mais je n'avais encore jamais entendu parler d'une reine naine. Est-ce que tout est prêt pour le voyage Je dois encore m'occuper de quelque chose. Please excuse me for asking, Your Highness, but how is it that a queen is sitting on the firstling throne? The queen smiles. She has clearly been expecting the question. It began with an argument. My father valued my mother's advice, but disputed her ability to lead the kingdom. This frustrated her, and she demanded the chance to prove the contrary. In the end, they agreed that my mother would govern the firstlings for 14 orbits. During this time, there was an attack by trolls, and my mother put them to flight with cunning and bravery. When my father demanded the throne again, she defied him, and the clans followed her. The other kingdoms were appalled and refused to receive my mother, but our kingdom saw that she was a good queen. And when she died 230 cycles ago, the people demanded that I should follow her onto the throne. Avec une barbe. Bon, sinon, euh, ouais. Ils l'ont gardé pour le mérite. Euh, Est-ce que tout est prêt pour le voyage Is everything ready for our journey to the kingdom of the fifthlings We have provided wagons for you and your companions. Là, on, va, on va voyager par euh, en rail souterrain. Oui. Yes, we are ready. The queen nods slowly. Rally your companions. I will march east with my host. But don't be misled. The fate of the perished land is in your mm -hmm. hands, not mine. May you succeed and return unhurt. Vrakas be with you. Cool. On se tire. Enfin. Allez, temps de chargement. The plains of fertile in Girdlegard. And rightly Et sur ce qu'il a envoyé au son nom de peine du haut épi. The east of the land has been in revolt since the perish land advanced. And the peace seemed to have broken in the heartland too. As a group of strangers crawl out of a hole. Ah, attends, on a déjà fait le trajet euh Why don't we just go for a tunnel that hasn't collapsed? And what if we don't find one? If we're overground, we at least know that there's a way even if it's dangerous. Parce que maintenant ils font le trajet et sur le chemin il y a, il y a une, le tunnel qui, qui s'est écroulé donc ils, sont, ils sortent par un, une entrée en fait. Une sortie je veux dire. Ok. Alors Bavragor a gagné un level. Euh, il est level combien maintenant Level 10. Ah Attendez. Oui, j'ai tout choisi en fait. Ok. Ah, ils m'ont ils ont donné de la bouffe. Cool. Alors, on m'a dit que pour les potions. Oh, c'est bien sur les personnages, hein, mais. Euh... Faut que je teste tous les boutons pour les potions. Bon, on est à Turguria. Il faut aller là-bas. Il faut aller dans la forteresse. À Zongbaljour. Qu'est-ce qu'on a là sur le chemin On a des trucs. Ça me paraît assez court quand même. Bon, allons ici. Champ petit. If Rodario is to be believed, more than 70,000 people live here, a number that you find it hard to even imagine. 
Ah, c'est un réfugié, c'est normal. If we are looking for somewhere to quench our thirst or for a roof over our heads, then I would recommend the Golden Well Tavern. And we can find everything we need for the rest of our journey at the big market. Just say where you want to go, Tanger, and I'll show you the way. Allez, à l'auberge et puis dors, allez au grand marché. You follow Rodario through the lively streets until he reaches a run-down two-story building. You hope that this dump isn't the tavern that Rodario recommends. <coughs> you prepare yourself for the worst, but the inside of the tavern surprises you all. The walls are clad with dark, finely ornamented wood. The floor is clean, the tables are weighed down with good food, and a hot fire is burning in the fireplace. One should never judge a book by its cover. The guests look you over full of curiosity, and many nod a greeting. The haggard woman behind the bar greets you loudly. Rodario, you old rogue! What are you doing here? And you've got dwarves with you! <laughs> I don't see one my whole life, and then several come along in the same month! We are on an important mission, Madame Flory, and could do with a place to stay the night. Rodario introduces you and negotiates a good price for a few beds and a night's lodgings. Where have you been now? For asking, but you said you'd seen some other dwarves recently. You are thinking of Gandagar's group, group and wondering if they might have reached the kingdom of the Fiddlings fiddling. already. Yes, a nice bloke from the west. Pay for his room for a month in advance and then disappeared. Travelling light. The landlady's expression darkens. That was three weeks ago. If he doesn't come back soon, I'll have to release the room. Mm -hmm. You give Namora a sign and sneak onto the first floor. The half elf appears moments later. To your surprise, she has Balandis with her, who must have caught something. Gandagar. I want to know who the dwarf who is sneaking around here is. Perhaps he belongs to Gandagar's group. After apologizing to various guests for intruding, you are left with just one untried door. Namora picks the lock, and you enter the room unseen. The room is bigger than all the rooms in the tavern you have seen so far, and all just for one guest. There are maps, various pieces of notepaper, and three notebooks on the table. The notes are partly written in Dwarvish, and partly in the language of humans. The three of you scan through them until Balandis draws your attention to a map on which the route from the kingdom of the firstlings to the kingdom of the fifthlings is marked. What would make a firstling travel to the perished land or even to the kingdom of the fifthlings? You believe you've found an explanation. Here, this letter. I have found a way, but I don't know if I will return safely with Star Slasher. That's why I leave to you, dear Barris, my notes, may you, and, and so on. Star Slasher? You have come across this name in the notes a few times already, but you just shrug your shoulders and throw the letter back onto the table in disappointment. You had hoped to have found out some news on the whereabouts of the other group. Uh, a sword. Apparently it was given to Gizelbert I and I by a caravan travelling from the other lands. It seems we're dealing with a treasure hunter. D'accord. C'est une, une arme naine qui veulent récupérer. Enfin, une arme naine. C'est une arme, une arme qui a été offerte au, au roi des premiers chevaux. Il y a plein de choses qui semblent n'avoir pas de sens. Pendant que vous vous passez à travers la crowd pour arriver au trader que Rodario veut vous introduire, vous entendez deux paysans talking about elves. No, I tell you, it was elves. Pale skin, pointy ears. Yeah, something strange is going on these days. Old Trunderwood from down Acre Hill Way said he saw some pointy ears too. Come to think of it, where's he been all week? Here we are. Rodario's sudden announcement draws your attention away from the locals to the tent that you're now standing in front of. Welcome to Brand's Popery. Whatever your heart may desire, I can supply. Montrez-moi ce que vous proposez. Alors, 
qu'est-ce que c'est tout ça <rire> Déjà, j'en la bouffe. Euh, non. Je vais tout prendre. Merci. Euh, ce talisman... D'accord, on a quoi Augmente les dégâts des attaques spéciales. Ok, là on a accord d'un point d'action supplémentaire tous les deux secondes pendant une bataille. Si je te vends ça, tu m'en accordes 300. Et si tu achètes ça, tu m'en accordes... Ok, c'est toujours bon à prendre. Et le talisman... 450... 1000... Oh putain, 1200 quoi. Blam cette mémoire à 10% de chance de régénérer 20% de santé. Ouais, c'est pas très... Euh... Je vais toujours prendre ça, on sait jamais, mais... Euh... Euh... Allez hop, on se casse. On avance. You are woken with a jolt in the middle of the night by a blood curdling scream. You look around in panic and see that the others have been woken too. But only Gilda has of sweat on her brow. Où suis. She's breathing heavily. Concerned, you go over to her. I can remember. The Alpha. They are doing experiments on the children of the Smith. We have to save them. Stand des arbres, des expériences où tu veux où veux-tu en venir? Experiments. What are you talking about? I can remember everything, or at least some of it. I know that I was taken prisoner by the Alpha, along with other dwarfs. They experimented on us, and I somehow escaped. Where was this exactly? They are here, nearby. <laughs> it was a, a village, I think. An Alpha village in Tabain doesn't sound very likely. Si les abeilles portent sur les nains, alors nous devons les aider. C'est difficile à admettre, mais euh, ok. Bon. Irakus, si les Alpha sont expérimenté sur les dwarves, nous ne pouvons pas les ignorer. Nous devons libérer les prisonniers. Nous ne pouvons pas sauver le monde si nous ignorons la souffrance juste en face de nos yeux. Nous allons aider Geralda. Voendal et les autres acceptent la position. Geralda nodde à vous gratuitement. Vous nous emmenez dans un piège. Uh -huh. Alors, on a quoi là J'aimerais savoir ce que c'est ça. C'est quoi Un ménil pentu. When you reach Acre Hill, there isn't a single villager in sight. An uneasy feeling creeps over you, which finally turns into certainty when you see red paintings on the walls of the houses. Alpha. <rire> euh, regardez les tableaux de plus près. The pictures painted in blood tell the horrifying story of how the Alpha came to the village and killed the inhabitants. You also find a few les albes adorent faire des euh, tableaux like des euh, humans, smaller and stronger, euh, des like sculptures artistiques et autres avec les When corps de leurs euh, victimes. Disgust is written in the faces of your les os, la peau, le sang pour la peinture. J'utilise tout. Il faut même des bâtiments avec ça. C'est magnifique. Très... Euh, très décoratif. Chercher les indices. As expected, you don't find any survivors. But there are also no undead. The perished land has not yet advanced this far. You discover some footprints on the northern edge of the village. It was orcs. Looks as though they waited here while the point ears wreaked havoc in the village. It seems like they moved on towards the north. Ok, brûler les restes et nettoyer le sang. Les bones que vous pouvez trouver ensemble et les brûler. Vous brûlez les paintings avec l'eau de la mer. Vous n'avez pas été capable de prévenir ce incident grave, mais vous ne voulez pas laisser une seule trace de ce derrière. Hum hum. Ok, on a commencé à continuer. Some way from the path, you come across an old campsite between some rocks. A trampled out campfire and scattered belongings, papers, bottles and a necklace, <laughs> suggest that the traveller either had to flee in a hurry or was abducted. That is a firstling necklace. 
I recognize the emblem. It belongs to the clan of the Roughblades. We only know of one Firstling out so far west these days, the dwarf whose notes we found in the tavern. Star Slasher. If King Gizelbert really did wield this sword, it would be an unbelievably valuable artifact. Just imagine if the sword <laughs> really existed. It's not worth losing your life for, or, in the worst case, losing your life and then rising again. Oh. Cherchez l'autre indice. Ground again more closely, but there's not much here that could help you. The ground is too hard for footprints, and the objects that have been left behind could have come from any old dwarf trader. D'accord. Et intéressé par l'indice sur les clans des brutlam. Anything about the rough blades, Balandus? Every firstling knows of the clan. They have a long tradition as weaponsmiths, though their work is often exotic and sometimes thought of as undwarfish. They experiment a lot with blade shapes and hilt lengths. Their weapons are easy to recognize. Sounds as though someone from a clan like that would definitely be very interested in a legendary sword. Et nous on va se laisser là-dessus parce que j'aimerais bien euh, les, euh, pour le prochain épisode voir euh, enfin centrer sur la euh, la forteresse qu'on euh, qu va aller explorer pour faire la lame de feu. Allez, j'espère que cet épisode vous a plu. On en, on en apprend pas mal sur les premiers et aussi sur les, euh, les autres clans. Et on avance doucement euh, vers... Euh, vers euh, bah, en final, ça va vite s'enchaîner parce qu'on euh, arrive à la lame de feu et après, il y a certaines choses qui vont arriver. Mais ouais, le, ça va vite changer. Allez, on se retrouve très vite pour un nouvel épisode sur The Dwarf. Et je vous souhaite à toutes et à tous un bon week-end. Ciao tout le monde.